Welcome, welcome to one of the most fun hauls I think I put on all year. This is my favorites video of all the holiday items that have come in so far at Trader Joe's. Doesn't mean that they're all here because as we know, Trader Joe's is literally daily rolling in new seasonal and new items. Speaking of new items, you guys, this is the video you're gonna wanna watch till the end because there is so many new products and I mean so many new that you need to have a note, notepad and pen ready to go so you don't miss out and a lot of body care. So if you like the body care and all the little kits that they have, I have some awesome info for you guys. So make sure you're ready to run out to your Trader Joe's so you don't miss out because you know how it is during the season, things come for a week and then they're gone next week and it's very sad and disappointing and I don't want you guys to miss out. Having said that, if you guys enjoy my videos, it really helps the algorithm if you just hit the little thumbs up button, helps my videos get out there and helps me afford some of these groceries that I pay for every week to share with you guys. And of course, if you've watched one, two, three of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet and you're still watching my videos, if you would please subscribe, that also helps me out so much and I really appreciate all that. Now it is time to check out all of the new and seasonal items. I can't wait, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start right here, right off the bat, with a seasonal favorite, and these are the mini hold the cone ice cream cones in the peppermint flavor. These are phenomenal. You don't have to necessarily love peppermint to love these because I'm one of those gals that falls into that category. I don't really love peppermint, but something about this ice cream is just perfection and so I love the hold the cones because I feel like for me it keeps me accountable and I will have like two cones and that hits my sweet spot and I can be done with it but they're so delicious and if you haven't tried them they've been out for years and years and years at Trader Joe's they're, they're one of those products that really stands the test of time they come back year after year because they are so popular and because it is so good now going along the same lines of the cones we also have the candy cane jojo ice cream this is another fantastic product and again you don't have to love that peppermint flavor to love this because it has like chunks of the chocolate oreo in there and it's just delicious actually it's a jojo my bad um but really good quality ice cream and this is another one that just flies off the shelf this time of year everyone looks forward to it they have this gingerbread ice cream that's a couple years old now and this is also a phenomenal one and i'm not big on gingerbread either but i love this for whatever reason the combination between the ice cream the gingerbread chunks in here and the um, ginger snap cookie pieces, it's just amazing. I love, love, love this ice cream. And both of these, actually all three of these ice creams are seasonal, so run out and grab them. You can stock up, they're frozen, so they last a while in the freezer and you can um, stock up for the holidays. Now, another one of my favorite desserts that I tried, I think this was last year or the year before, are these mini chocolate mousse desserts. These are so good and they are so pretty. If you're hosting a dinner party or you're just having some friends over to have a little dessert and some wine, that's like, that's my kind of party. Um, this is the perfect little dessert because they are small and they're so easy. You just leave them out. So they're frozen and before your guests come, how long do we leave these out? You leave them out for two hours. You re refrigerate them for two hours and then they're ready to go. And like I said, they look like this picture. They're so perfect and so cute and so yummy. So check those out if you haven't gotten them already. A new frozen item, artichoke bread pudding. Bread pudding is this season's Trader Joe's thing that they're doing and cinnamon bun is also another big thing with Trader Joe's this year. So the artichoke bread pudding has artichoke and Tuscan bread and a savory casserole with cheddar cheese. Sounds amazing. Is it vegetarian? Let's check it out. Here's the back, the nutrition facts and the ingredient list. Now I think we're looking here for microbial enzymes. Love that. And I am not seeing anything that's showing me that I cannot try this. So I can't wait to try this in the taste test. I'm looking forward to seeing if I can recommend this for a side for Thanksgiving because we are like one week away and it's go time. So if you are someone that's not like, you're not most confident in the kitchen, you're not the best cook, Trader Joe's has you covered. 
because they have all these wonderful sides and things that you can add to your table that taste just as good as homemade. Well, almost as good as homemade. I won't say just as good, but they are delicious. And I'm really looking forward to trying this. I love artichoke. And with the bread pudding, that's a very interesting um, combo. So I'm definitely really excited to try this in the taste test. Now, these pastry bites have been around since I've known about Trader Joe's, which is like 10 years, and they're phenomenal. They're with feta cheese and caramelized onions. These are the perfect appetizer for the holidays or for any time. Tim and I used to buy these years ago, way before we were married. We would buy these and we would make these a meal and they were delicious and they still are. If you haven't tried these, true classic at Trader Joe's, so, so good. And I think these are year round, but I don't know. I feel like sometimes I don't even notice them until right now. So maybe they did transition to seasonal. Trader Joe's has been known to like move year round things to seasonal. But if you see these at your store and you haven't tried them, pick them up. You will not regret it. I promise. And they're a great appetizer for having guests. Chicken shawarma bowl. This is new. I heard from a friend that works at Trader Joe's. He said this was insanely good. He was like, I, and he's very picky. So he was saying, this is a really good one. It is basmati rice, shawarma seasoned chicken meat, red bell pepper, spinach, pickled red onion, and a creamy garlic sauce. This is from Canada. And I think Tim's really gonna enjoy this. This is something that is right down his alley. So you can see the nutrition facts here for you guys. And then here is the ingredient list as well. And how do we cook this? The suggested preference, I guess, is microwavable and then conventional oven is also a thing. So you can take this to work with you if you wanted to. Continuing on with some of my seasonal favorites, we've got the herbaceous cheesy bites. These are really good too. I love that they are very herby. So if you like that herb blend with cheese, you're gonna love these. These are air fryer safe and another just amazing appetizer. I'm an app type of girl and I've said this before, but like Thanksgiving, I like sides because as a vegetarian, just that's just the way it works out and I actually prefer it. So if you're somebody like me that likes appetizers and like savory more than sweet, these are so fun and so good. Um, and I love that they're small. So these look bigger than they actually are. There's 12 in here. So that gives you an idea of how small they are. And here's my hand. So you can see that's like the size of my hand, little, little balls, and they're perfect for an appetizer. You can just stick toothpicks in them and your guests can just take one and eat it. Lodkas are another one of our seasonal favorites. These are year round, but for some reason, when the weather cools down, these are always such a delicious morning um, treat that Tim and I will make, and they're just really good. If you haven't tried the Lodkas from Trader Joe's, they are so good, and I highly recommend. And then I showed these last week, but I could not do a favorites video without having the crispy veggie pouches. I'm not gonna go in great detail, but these are seasonal. Grab them while you can. I love these and they're just the perfect crispiness on the outside, nice and um, vegetable packed on the inside and they're just phenomenal. So that is the frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away real quick so nothing melts and then I'll get right back into the rest of the haul. Next up, I'm going through some of the seasonal cheeses, but also there is a ton of new cheeses this month. So I wanna go through all of them so you can have your perfect charcuterie board. We're gonna start right here with their formage pave. This is like one of the most absolute best cheeses you can find around and for the price you really can't beat it. This is a product of France. It, it does come in a little square. People swear by this cheese. Every year people ask all throughout the year, when is the uh, formage pave coming out? When's the formage pave coming out? It is here. It's a seasonal item and it's only here during this time of year. So if you're one of those people that really loves it or somebody that really wants to try it, go now, grab it before it's gone because it will vanish and you will be so sad. Now I've talked about the creamy Toscano cheese soaked in Chardonnay wine. I couldn't leave it out of this haul. This is one of my favorite cheeses. I bought one, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. It's gone because we ate it and it was delicious. And so I got another one before this disappears too because this is my favorite cheese Trader Joe's sells and I talked about it before. This is a brand new brie. It's the Pere brie. I don't know, I probably messed that one up. Now, something I will say, this is a double cream brie. So it is not a triple cream. Triple cream is gonna be the creamiest, smoothest, most delicious. Double cream is good, just not the best. And I'm gonna keep it real like that. So we're gonna try this in the um, taste test because I wanna see 
how it compares and if it's creamy, whatever. It's a French style natural brie made in America. So there you go. That's a new brie and it's a big round brie. So if you have a lot of guests, this is a good size. Moving down the line, we've got the Dolce, Dolce or Dolce creamy gorgonzola style cheese. Now, Tim and I are not blue cheese people. However, I talked to one of my old friends, again, a different person. I got to talk to a lot of my old coworkers and it was so fun to catch up and just be chatty. I was at the store way longer than I had intended, but it's fun to catch up. And um, my friend Nigel was telling me that this was delicious. The crew tried it and he said this was actually the um, most liked cheese, which is surprising because so many people don't like blue cheese. It's a very specific flavor. And yes, you're eating mold. So um, we're going to try Well, I'm going to try this. I probably, I'm going to guess right now Tim's not going to eat this, um, which is fine. I will try it and let you guys know how it is and if it's good. Then we have the Spotlight Cheese of the Month. So this is for the month of November. It is the Grand Capitan, Capitan, and they've had this brand before. This one is a very interesting cheese to me. So it is a hard cheese made from cow, sheep, and goat milk with an olive paste. So all this marbling you're seeing, this is an olive paste just kind of thrown in throughout. And it also not only has olives, but it has, um, or a paste, it also has black olives, olive oil, thyme, oregano, and salt. So you're gonna get a flavor explosion, I hope. I think that's what it's gonna taste like. And I think it's gonna be really good. So we have a lot of cheeses to get through in this week's taste test. If you're a cheese person, this is your video for this week. And then this is one of the most exciting ones for the season. So this is the figgy cheddar. It's a mild cheddar cheese with marinated spiced figs. So I'm thinking more of a sweet cheese, which might be really good in a salad that has figs in it too. So I feel like you could just add to this and it's, um, I don't know, we'll see how it tastes. This one also, just a side note here, has cinnamon, ginger, fennel, nutmeg, cloves, lemon zest, and paprika. This gives me a little bit better indication when you read the ingredients that it's going to be more of a like a spice, like a warm spice cheese, and it's gonna have a lot of flavor in it. So I'm looking forward to trying this in the taste test as well. There's a lot of cheeses to get through. Now for the rest of my grocery haul of the cold stuff, I just got some beefless grounds just for whenever. The soy chorizo is great for this time of year. I love making my egg bake, which I have a video on and I talk about so every so often, but you can add soy chorizo to that and it really kicks it up a notch because this is spicy and it's great to just kind of make it a little bit more of a richer breakfast. So um, people that like chorizo in general love the soy chorizo that Trader Joe's sells. So if you haven't tried this yet, and even if you're not vegetarian or vegan, um, this is a really cool one to try. It's vegan and gluten-free, FYI. I got a couple salad kits. I got the avocado ranch salad kit. This was really good when it first came out like a few weeks ago. And so I picked another one up and then I got the Southwest chopped salad because of course I did. Now, before I move on from the refrigerator, there's one more thing that we did not buy, but I thought I would share. It's the salmon pinwheels. This is a product that comes out during this season as well. It's been out for about three, four years now, and it is quite pricey, but I know a lot of people that love salmon really love this product. And it's a splurge because it is like a holiday thing. So if you're splurging on something and this is something that's up your alley, then I would say down your alley. I don't always say up your alley, down your alley, then um, go ahead and pick it up now because it's just here during this time of year. And it does last quite a bit of time. At least it did in the previous years when I worked this section and would put out these salmon pinwheels. I remember them being around until around like January. So, um, but don't quote me on that. Things change every year. So I'm just letting you know, this is here now. So if you want to try it, grab it. Now we're moving on to some drinks. So we got some more sparkling apple crisp apple juice. We got two. Tim and Benson love this and they're so cute. They have the same taste buds for drinks. And so anytime Tim likes something, Benson's like, I want it and he'll steal it from Tim. So I got two this time so that they can each have one. And this is another seasonal item. Tim couldn't pass up this beer. This is the Santa was, uh, Santa was a werewolf, West Coast India Pale Ale. 
such a kind of like silly play on Santa because Santa's supposed to be happy and all this. And this is like a werewolf Santa setting the land fire. The elves are running away. There's presents everywhere. This werewolf has a beer. Maybe we shouldn't drink this. It's going to turn us into a werewolf. Um, Rudolph is angry. Snowman's on fire. It's just a really silly thing. I also love that this can has like this really pretty shift to it. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but it's a really pretty like shine and it's, it's cute. So I don't have, I don't think we're going to love this because it is an India pale ale, but Tim assured me that the West coast India pale ales are a little more tolerable for us. I know a lot of people love pale ales, nothing against it. IPAs, just we are not the biggest fans of them yet we might grow into it but this is a fun can nevertheless for the holidays now here's a brand new wine that i just it caught my eye I hadn't seen it there before it is a verdejo it's a 2021 there was not even a price tag on it that's how new they had just put it out so i wanted to try it when they rang it up it was 3.99 shock i definitely we're gonna try this in the taste test let you know how it is for 3.99 i'm a little nervous because I don't want to get a headache and I don't want it to be too, you know, sharp tasting, but we're going to try it and let you know some of these deals that Trader Joe's gets right now during the holidays are insane. They'll ship a $10 bottle, $15 bottle of wine and sell it for $4. So this could very well be one of those cases and we'll try it and let you know how it is. Now I couldn't leave the store without getting a couple more platinum reserves. I have talked about these. I'm, I'm like kind of like beating a dead horse now. But for those of you who haven't seen these videos and that like wine, the Platinum Reserves are out right now and already at my Trader Joe's, the Pinot Noir sold out. They're not getting any more. I keep asking when the diamond, there's no ETA on the diamond. It's kind of like if you're there and it comes out, you're a lucky ducky. So I'm gonna keep popping my head in and seeing if they have the diamonds. But um, this is the next, so it goes diamond then platinum. So if you wanna get your hands on this for Thanksgiving, for whatever, whatever event you wanna have a really good bottle of wine, this is the time to get it. I can't tell you enough. Grab this wine if you like good quality wine and you want to get a huge, huge um, price deduction because these are normally like $40 bottles. So go ahead and grab them now and hopefully you can get your hands on some. Speaking of alcohol, there was one item I didn't get but I wanted to share with you because Trader Joe's very rarely has sake and they have a new sake. It's called Lucky Dog and it comes in the cutest little milk carton with a little dog on it. And I just had to share it with you because I do not want you all to miss out that Trader Joe's has sake right now. And I don't know if it's going to be around or if this is just a little fun seasonal thing that they threw in there. Now, I love the seasonal holiday kits that Trader Joe's comes out with. And this one, I think they had this out last year and I missed it. And I was so sad because I really wanted to get my hands on the pasta um, the five pastas that they have. So I got it this year and I'm happy I did. This is a beautiful gift, especially if you're doing like an Italian style gift basket. I would 100% include this in the basket because it's kind of the star of the show. It's gorgeous to look at and it's really fun. So there's five different pastas here. You have the striped farfalline, the striped papillon, and I think this is the one that they're selling right now in an individual bag lemon flavored pasta, the striped, and I'm not even gonna attempt these names, and this one that has the, I don't know, what is this, four colors, four different colors. So very, very beautiful gift sets, and I gifted that to myself this year because I was waiting for it. Okay, get your pens and paper ready because we are about to get into some heavy duty new item stuff and the body care. So <sighs> gotta take a deep breath, here we go. Sweet and green mango. It is a tart and sweet treat. This is brand new. We will be trying this in the taste test this week, letting you know how this mango tastes. And here's the nutrition facts and the ingredient list. There is sugar added to these, so they should be um, sweeter than, you know, the ones that are just plain. And that might deter some of you guys because I know some of you just want the plain and I totally get that. The ones with sugar taste amazing though, so just put it out there. Now to a couple of my favorites for the holidays. This is a true classic. They also have this in a larger size. So if you wanted to get the big box, that used to be year round too. 
when I first started at Trader Joe's, it was one of Tim's favorite, and I would get this box of salted caramels like weekly because he loved them so much. Then they stopped selling them, and now they're just seasonal. So if you want the big box, you can go get those now. This is a perfect little cute box for a gift, and it even comes with this little card that you can flip over and fill out. And it's basically the best little salted caramels. There's like thick chunks of salt on the top, and with the salt, it just makes it taste so good. So I had to add this to my favorites, as well as the English toffee bits. These are, or bites. These are amazing too. I love toffee, so these are one of my faves. And I like that it comes in a small bag because they also have a big tin of these as well, or a can or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I don't need that many sweets when I buy all this stuff to share with you guys. So these smaller versions are perfect to just hit that sweet, like that sweet tooth that I have at night, then I'm not overdoing it either. So these are some of my faves. Now to a couple more new, actually, let's just talk about these four right here. These are all new. I think these are new this year. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are new. So this is the first thing, the stolen crisps. So Trader Joe's is, um, they always bring out different crisps for every season. You'll see all the different ones. Last week in the taste test, we even did the pomegranate crisps, which I heard were discontinued. But these are the new ones for the holiday. They haven't had these before, but it is a crispy sweet cracker inspired by Stolen. So it has powdered sugar, orange, lemon peels, and raisins. And if you're curious to see what is in here, here's the nutrition facts and the ingredient list. Now I'm thinking for this taste test tomorrow, I'm going to pair the Stolen Crisps with the Figgy Cheddar. I just feel like these two are going to go well together. Um, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. That's, that settles it. There we go. When I first saw these, I thought they were frozen. Silly me. No, these are like a cracker. They're kind of near the same area, but these are the Herbs de Provence triangles. And I love the Herbs de Provence seasoning that Trader Joe's sells. It's just a really good seasoning. It has, um, rosemary, savory, onion, and garlic. So you are getting a really nice treat. I love that they have a little sample of a charcuterie board on the side too. That's very inspiring for me because I like to see and visualize how I would set up a charcuterie and this is just absolutely perfect. The box is small so you might need to buy a couple if you're having a lot of guests because I have a feeling these are gonna be good and again, we'll try these in the taste test to let you know. Nutrition facts, the calories, they even have a per container one on this because it is such a small box and it is pretty reasonable. So I'm excited and look forward to trying this. And we have so many cheeses to pair these crackers with that I am like, we're set, we're good. Now to the Jingle Jangle. This one, Tim was freaking out about. He was like, oh my gosh, these look so good because he loves pretzels. He likes the Jingle Jangle too. These are large pretzel twists covered in peanut butter candy coating. Oh my gosh, sounds so good. Dark chocolate candy gems and Jojo cookie bits. Uh, you're getting a little bit of everything in these and they look insanely good. And you can hear there's a lot of stuff moving around in there. Um, nutrition facts for you and the ingredient list. As I always say, go ahead and pause the video if you wanna take a longer look. But these are definitely um, going to be at the end of the taste test tomorrow because we always do sweets at the end. But I think one of the most Favorite things I'm looking forward to trying because they're they're fun. They're fun. What, what else can I say? Cinnamon swizzle sticks. Another brand new item. There's six sticks in here. At first, I was like, what the heck are these for? Well, they're to stir into your coffee or your hot cocoa. They're basically an actual cinnamon stick, and it is partially rolled in rock sugar. So these are really fun for, I feel like, a kid's party or letting your kiddos stir your coffee with or whatever. And something that I love about this is you can reuse these cinnamon sticks. Don't just swirl and throw away. I love putting my cinnamon sticks in my coffee in the morning. So I'll just put it in with the grounds in my coffee maker on the top. And if it's too big, you can snap it in half. And then when it brews, the cinnamon kind of just heats up with the water and it helps make your coffee taste like cinnamon and it's delicious. And you can save these sticks for like three to four days when you're making coffee and it lasts a long time. So don't throw the cinnamon sticks away. You get two uses out of this and it's super fun. Would be another cute gift in a gift basket. 
And I had a question this past week asking if I'm gonna do gift baskets this year. I haven't decided, but I have had to cut back and not get as much stuff. Not working at Trader Joe's, I don't get the discount anymore. So things are very, um, it's just way more expensive. And I just, I can't justify buying all this stuff to make gift baskets for this year. So I might change my mind though. So there you go. We, we got two more new products to show you here and they're cinnamon bun inspired. So we've got these cinnamon bun inspired truffles in I will say one of the cutest packages ever. These are so adorable. It looks like a little candy um, that you, you know, whatever, candy that you unroll. It's a Tootsie Roll candy. Um, and it has milk chocolate with a cinnamon and caramel filling dusted with powdered sugar. I have to say cinnamon bun is really good. I love cinnamon buns. They taste amazing. They're one of my favorite flavors. So seeing Trader Joe's pick that flavor for this holiday season, I am here for it. I love it. Here's the nutrition facts and the ingredient list. And we'll, we will be trying these in the taste test as well. And then we've got the cinnamon bun inspired kettle corn as well. So if you are somebody that likes popcorn, it's gluten-free, that's awesome. And if you like cinnamon buns, we're gonna try this and let you know how it tastes. But first, let me show you the back. Here are the nutrition facts and the ingredient list. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying the cinnamon bun flavored things. When I tried the coffee creamer, I'll be honest, it doesn't taste like cinnamon bun to me. I am like, I, I don't know, I'm shocked that so many people that I've seen review it say that it tastes like cinnamon bun because it totally doesn't. But that's just my opinion, so it is what it is. Now, before I move on, I also wanted to share with you guys that the gingerbread cake and cookie mix is also available as well as the chocolate and peppermint bake mix, baking mix that you can make a loaf or a cake with. Those two are amazing and they're fun to have. I just don't need it, so I didn't buy it this time, um, but I wanted to share with you guys that it is available. There's also a bunch of candy. Now, a lot of these are not my favorite, so you've got the peppermint bark is in, the peppermint creams, the candy cane covered almonds, those are good. There's the English toffee I was talking about, the bocce, the Caché Belgian Chocolate Assortment is one of my faves, but 10 bucks, no thank you. The Chocolate Passport Book, the Festive Chocolate Collection. There's the big sea salt caramels I was talking about. The Boozy Little Truffles are good. The um, Royal Figs are also really good. And then down below, we've got some of the things that I had already mentioned. Showed you guys the um, little Polar Bear, Hot Cocoa Polar Bear, the Minty Marshmallows all of those good items to have for the holidays. But like I said, all of this stuff is awesome and it's fun, but it is not stuff that I need. So I didn't pick all of that up, but I did want to share with you because I think a lot of you guys want to see the, the items that are available and that is that. Now we're moving to the body care. This is my favorite part of the haul because it has all my favorite things. I picked up almost everything that they had, but I didn't quite get it all. I'm gonna start right here with the crackling red fruits in the forest scented candle. This has a wooden wick, so it does actually crackle. Not as loud as I want. I have the one from last year and it does crackle, but it's not, it's not loud enough, but I still love the concept and I love the candle, so. I picked one up for 10 bucks. It is pricey. I think it's a nice gift. And if you like that crackling, that's like really fun. Um, also the hot cocoa whipped body scrub. This is a scented body scrub that smells like hot cocoa. Brand new this year, never had it, never showed it before. And it is a very fun take on a sugar scrub. So if you're somebody that likes to use scrubs in the shower, this is probably a really fun one and it's gonna make you want hot cocoa when you get out. This is a new candle, chocolate croissant scented candle. I haven't smelled it, let me, let me try this. Okay, so this candle smells just like chocolate. It smells really good. Um, and something I love about the candles that Trader Joe's sells is that they are soy wax, coconut oil, and beeswax blend. They're lead-free cotton wicks. So a little bit of a like healthier, I guess, air that you're breathing in. Although I've read somewhere that they say candles are not good anyway in general, but um, if you're gonna get candles, get the ones that are the best for you. So Trader Joe's does a good job on that. There's also a new body butter. I didn't get that because I have the, 
world supply of body butters since working at Trader Joe's. I just have so many. So this is the shimmering candy cane body butter. Okay, hold on. How did I not know this was shimmering? I should have got this one. My bad. I did not know it was shimmering. I didn't even read it. Okay. Now I regret not getting it because none of the other body butters are shimmering, but um, now you guys know and you can run out and get it. Candy cane is probably gonna smell really nice and fresh. And again, I'm kicking myself. Why didn't I get this? I should have tried it. Oh well, that's okay. There's also um, the moisturizing lip balm set that they have available. I didn't get that. I've bought that in several years in a row and I just, I don't need that many lip balms, but they're great to split up if you're gifting to a bunch of people or you're doing like, gift gifts for teachers or something. I just feel like this is a good set, but again, I don't need all of those lip balms. So I didn't pick that up either. And then one of my favorite things that I love getting is the ultra moisturizing hand cream trio. And I would have bought that, but I still have a couple left from last year. So I just didn't need to get more. And I just felt like that would be a waste and I wouldn't be able to use them in time. So I didn't, but if you're looking for a really great gift, I love those hand creams. They're the best. They are so moisturizing and just amazing. I forgot that one of my other seasonal holiday favorites is the butter toffee pretzels. I could not do this haul if this wasn't included. So I've talked about this before, but they are amazingly delicious. Now to the big daddy of all big daddies. So this is probably the hottest product um, that Trader Joe's is going to have in body care this year because People just have lost their mind about the Brazil nut body butter. And now they have a trio out as a little gift set. And I almost didn't buy it because I have two of these body butters. I have the body wash, but this has two new products and I just couldn't help myself. I had to do it. Um, so they have the Brazil nut body mist, which is, I think is just going to be like a scented mist that you can spray on after you go to the gym or, you know, probably you can even spray it in your hair, make your hair smell nice and then they also have the brazil nut body oil and i kind of want to do a separate video and review some of these body care items that i've grabbed because um, the scents are all very unique and i'm already doing the 12 days of beauty but i also wanted to do like a separate one for some of these um like seasonal products that are brand new because i want to try them out with you guys and then the last holiday item I got was the gummy bear flavored lip duo. This was out last year and I didn't have a chance to get it, but I really wanted to smell it and test it out. So this might also be included in the video that I could try like this, the Brazil nut stuff and the whipped body scrub. And I might go back and get the candy cane body butter to see how shimmery it is. But, um, I, I just love this idea. The reason why there's little hangers on some of these things is so you can hang them on your Christmas tree. Um, and use them as decorations or just hang them anywhere as a gift, but these are more to like hang on your tree. Now, if you're still here, I do have to share with you all of the wreaths, the swag, the centerpieces, all the green greenery items are out, the poinsettias, the trees, um, this tabletop tree for $23, that's crazy. I'm sorry, but that is crazy expensive. Um, but yeah, there's all this holiday, uh, fresh green alive stuff is now available. Oh, and another item that I didn't mention is all the olive boards, the spoons, um, the bowls. Those are all available too. I love those products. They're amazing. I use them all the time for dinner parties, for guests coming over. I just, I use all of those olive products and they're great. And um, I, I think that that's worth, in my opinion, that's worth the money and it's worth the buy. All right, that is the haul minus all the frozen. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I know that was such a long haul, but it was worth it because there was so many things to get through. I hope your lists are made, ready to go. And I really encourage you guys to watch tomorrow's video because there's so many new items. I don't want you to waste money on the ones that just don't hit the mark. So. Make sure to watch the video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.